to today's video wrinkles 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 now wrinkles on the forehead all the way here you have lines and you know wrinkles going across now guess what today I have a wonderful two-step treatment for you that you can use to get rid of wrinkles especially on the forehead this is a very effective way of decreasing the fine lines and wrinkles you know that have your face looking all you know as if you're angry at all times so if you're interested in this wonderful remedy come with me and I'll show you how to make it in no time our first ingredient is fullest art and fullest art is actually a clay that is great for getting rid of excess oil from the skin it is great for tightening the skin and it is also great for getting rid of large open pores. Now there are other names for Fuller's Earth and that is whitening clay, bleaching clay, multani mitty, and some people even call it mud. Now Fuller's Earth is used in a lot of beauty products. Most time you find a clay mask, the base is Fuller's Earth, okay? The next ingredient is almond milk and you can also use regular old milk if you have that. However, for my vegan subscriber, today we are using almond milk. Almond milk is rich in vitamin E which nourish and soften the skin. Almond milk or milk is also beneficial as it protects the skin from damage caused by the sun. It also helps to tighten the skin and it also helps to get rid of large open pores. Our next ingredient is aloe vera gel and this is the store-bought gel. However, if you have fresh aloe vera, go ahead and use that. Now, aloe vera is great for firming and tightening the skin. It helps the elasticity of your skin and get rid of sagging skin. It is a natural moisturizer for your skin and it is great for getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines. Our final ingredient is green tea. And as you know, green tea is great for wrinkles and fine lines. Green tea is loaded with a lot of antioxidants that is gonna help to firm the skin. Green tea also helps to tighten the skin and green tea helps to get rid of large pores. And green tea also helps to lighten and brighten the skin. So now I'm gonna put all the ingredients together to create this wonderful skin tightening facial mask now for this facial mask you do not need a lot of the fullest art as it is so absorbent so I'm going to use one tablespoon of our fullest art a little goes a long way I'm gonna reach for my green tea and I'm using a tea bag. If you do not have tea bags and you have loose leaf, go ahead and use that. Just use one tablespoon of loose leaves. So we pour that in. So I'm gonna mix the dry ingredient together and that is the green tea and the, the fullest earth and the green tea. Just blend this well. And this is good. And next, I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of aloe vera gel. Now if you're using fresh aloe, just blend the gel and use one tablespoon. Now for our almond milk, use two tablespoons of almond milk. If you're using fresh milk, use the same amount. And this is what we have right here. And now we're gonna blend this. Take your time and what you're gonna notice, you're gonna notice that the fuller dirt is just gonna just suck up all of this liquid. So keep blending. And no, you do not need more fuller dirt in this. And this is good enough. 
Now, once you're finished blending, it should look something like this, very liquefy. And now we're gonna set this aside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna set it aside for overnight and up on the horizon in the morning, it should be ready. I'm setting this aside so that the green tea and the aloe vera can infuse in the fullest earth. In the morning, it's gonna be a little thick. So I'm gonna put this away and next day, I'm gonna show you what it looked like and I'm also gonna show you how to apply, okay? You do not need to store this in the refrigerator. Just leave it on your countertop and let it sit overnight. So it has been the next day and I'm gonna open this for you to see. And this is what it looks like. And like I said before, you could see that it got a little thick, which is perfect. So now we're gonna stir it. Just give it a nice stir. And ooh, it smells like herb, like herbal, you know? It's really smelling good. And basically this is how you make your clay mask at home. This is a green tea clay mask. Now, the fact that you use the bottle aloe vera gel, you can keep this well over six weeks or even longer. However, if you use fresh aloe vera gel, then try to use it up in at least 10 days, all right? Now to use a facial mask, you wanna start with clean skin. So you're gonna make sure to wash your face, you're gonna exfoliate your skin and then pat dry and you're ready for your facial mask however if you exfoliate your skin on a regular you can apply this mask without exfoliating but if you're not accustomed to exfoliate your face I recommend that you exfoliate before you use the mask okay so I'm gonna dip in with my fingers and a little goes a long way and take a note of this you're not gonna just plaster it on you're gonna actually apply it to the skin in upward strokes so applying it you're gonna apply it just upwards like this this forehead mask can be used on your entire face so if you don't have wrinkles and fine lines on the forehead use it over your entire face it's going to do the same job it's going to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines wherever you have it on your body all right so play with it now no need to apply a thick layer now if you have that frown line right here just feel free to put this in there also now this is what the mask look like after applying it to the forehead and immediately after you apply it you're gonna start to feel a tightening sensation I'm basically feeling it right now not to worry that's just the facial mask working now you're gonna let it sit on your forehead for at least 30 minutes after 30 minutes you're gonna rinse off with some cold water and then you're gonna move on to step two so I'm gonna sit with this for 30 minutes then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after 30 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse off so after wearing the mask for about 30 minutes this is what it looks like and right now my forehead is feeling extremely tight like really really tight so I'm gonna sit with this for another 15 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse off and I will be back with step two Now that the first step is over, we're moving on to our second step and that is to massage the forehead. Now we're gonna do just a few forehead massages and the first one is you're just gonna take your fingers, three fingers like this, you're gonna place it right here between the brows and you're gonna slightly press all the way up to your hair root and you're gonna do this at least 10 times. right in the center
Now we're gonna do the same thing on both sides, but we're gonna do each side individually. So we're gonna start run right about the beginning of the brows and we're gonna do this 10 times. Moving on to the other side. Now moving on to the next massage. Now we're gonna take three fingers and we're gonna press it right here, right at the beginning of the brow. You're holding that side and you're gonna take your next hand and same three fingers and you're just gonna pull it all the way to the temples. You're gonna do that at least 10 times. Moving on to the other side. And now I'm gonna do both together. Up and down. Upward strokes. And we're done now there you have it our two steps for getting rid of forehead wrinkles now as for the forehead mask you want to do that at least twice per week now as for the forehead massages you want to do this as often as you wish however make sure to do this at least twice per week so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up your comments are always welcome and if this was the first time watching don't leave without subscribing look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed also at the side of the word subscribe there's a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video thank you all and I'll see you in my next video bye bye